<laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Hello, kitty. You want to play horror oh, game? Kitty. Ooh, the floating upside down kitty of <laughs> Yeah, he does. Hey, guys, Panthers here. Today, I'm going to be playing A Man in the Attic. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this game other than apparently there is a man in the attic. And it's about a 10 minute long thing, so it's pretty short. But, uh, you know, any horror game is always a fun time, right? If you want to try this out for yourself before you even spoil it or, you know, watch stuff, I'll uh, leave a link for the game down below in the description. But f without further ado, let's get into it. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just sitting in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time. But when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked out my brother in the middle of the night a couple times. I am an adult now. And that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. One horrible nightmare is every time I try to play a horror game that isn't on Steam, Steam VR opens because it's like Unreal Engine 4. That's VR. And then it screws all of my sound settings up. It's like, oh, yeah, you, you want to listen through the index, right? That's uh, your it's different, you know. You don't want your system audio. You want the yeah. That's that's my living nightmare. <laughs> All right. So, it is pouring. It. Find phone. Oh my god. <laughs> I I'm so slow. <laughs> uh, okay. I was just saying maybe I should have. Maybe the game was like, yeah, he'd be out of the bedroom. We can cut this audio, <laughs> the rain audio. All right, lovely looking house. I don't need to use the bathroom now. You don't need to use it to go in there is all I'm thinking. Oh, I dig this, okay. Okay, nice house, I like this layout. It's different. I found my phone, Alex. Hey brother, I just wanna let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are. And their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Oh, am I still in the same house? It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Okay. Man, what is all these? Why don't these houses have good lighting? Turn on that light. Where's the damn light switch? None of these people have light switches. I don't like it. Um, I'm assuming Lily was like, I see creepy man. And you're like, <laughs> clean table question mark. Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. My brain read that as seven daughters. Her name is Lily, and technically, she's my niece. Yeah. It's been a while since I last seen them. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, oh, after all adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Cool. I'm going to get story along the way as I do things. I dig that. Because av having me get story as I progress, instead of just shoving it all onto one piece of paper right at the start, for one, allows me to feel more comfort in the fact that I'm playing a horror game, because I don't think anything is going to scare me between me and that sink. Because I'm going to get to the sink, and then I'm going to say, clean the dishes, and then I'm going to get another bit of story, and I don't have to worry about death. Do dishes. I can't get any closer. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when, all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs, staring at me from a doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed. Li yeah. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after they left for the night. I'm once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. I mean, I, even if you did have a background of horror nightmarish things at night and dealing with just a man staring at you being alone having people say i thought something creepy just happened bye you're alone again uh, <laughs> just gonna fuck with you 
Okay, now I'm feeling more unease because I feel less safe. What do I do now? Just go to bed or do I just go to the hell? A boiler room. I don't need to go there. Okay, well, you know, let's check out the doors. I want to see what layout this got. Normally, that would be like a basement, I feel like. Can I leave? Nope, can't leave the back door. I like this, though. I definitely like that there's not really anything going on. It's it's a it's a story build up. It's not like nothing is happening around me to build the atmosphere. Purely just story. Is that the attic? I want to go to the attic. Uh, the door will probably say something, but what is that light source? Attic. No reason to go there. Yeah, but also I'd probably want to check one more time before I got comfortable. Even alone, I would have some kind of like knife on me or something. But uh, what is this ghostly light source? I was. I guess I'll just go to bed. You know, who no one needs it. I wasn't ready for the text. <clears throat> According to Lily's story. This is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from the doorway, before returning to the attic, like in my dream. Well, if she saw it, I would just kind of assume it was no longer in your dreams, and I would close this. These noises, they're coming from the attic. Good, because I thought they were a sliding door, and I didn't remember seeing a sliding door downstairs. So I'm going to go hide in a closet, or, you know, grab a weapon. Or call somebody. Yeah, like literally, if I, if I if I live alone and people come over and say, "Hey, I saw this dude. He went up to the attic. That seems familiar to me." I don't want to be alone. You guys want to stay at night or any of that stuff or any of that stuff? No, it's fine. I'll I'll stay home alone. Blah blah. The minute I start hearing noises, hey bro, I'm coming over because <laughs> I think there's somebody in my head. Hey, this is a. I don't remember leaving this door open because it wasn't. I was just up here talking about the ooky spooky light. Oh, I don't like the ooky spooky noises. Nor do I really care for the ooky spooky brown wall. Like, you could have just... Uh, uh, having this much of an a ease to the attic. Like, the attic is literally just an upstairs. It's a third, second floor. Make this a room. This doesn't need to be an attic. That's so nice and lovely. And that bulb is probably going to pop. And I don't like this. I don't like how everything is... Ooh, what the Okay, I'm gonna just go under the light where I feel death is it waiting. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Go back to bed. Got it. You know, it's a good thing there's no killers around. I'm moving so fast they wouldn't be able to catch me. I'm fast as field boy. This is stupid. Ain't nobody up here, he says out loud, hoping the ghost will believe him and leave him alone. I didn't check underneath. Go to bed. Go to, go to, go to bed. And then you woke up the next morning and nothing was happening. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Daytime! Nighttime! Daytime! It's the morning! Is the man in the attic real? No need to jump scare the camera. I'm sleeping in bed. Just remember that. It's so hard to see the top of the steps now that that ghost light is gone. Oh, I'm looking way too intently. This is going to jump scare the shit out of me. Oh. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Ha ha ha. My attic is like this big. Very tiny. I don't have a basement. But I do have an under the house. And ain't nobody fitting under my bed. <laughs> Thank you for playing this specific fear. The man in the attic. I dug that. I like that a lot. I like that it was more story 
and you know tense than it was you know spooky spooky jump scare the attic was unpleasing especially with that picture he didn't how you figured he would have questioned that picture like oh yeah i got that at the renaissance fair three years ago like i don't i just i don't know questions the things man but yeah so there was a man in the attic probably yeah i'm gonna say yeah he's gonna murder you in your sleep or he's just gonna sit there and watch you that's probably worse and every night i'll get closer and closer and then i'll start tickling those toes Vanish when you wake up confused of why there's a creepy man to click your toes. All right. Well, that was a man in the attic. Like I said, I dug that a lot. That was very nice. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next one.